All right, my dear friends, thank you so much for being here with me. My name is Jeremy Alexander Newsom, and in this video, there'll be no sales pitch. I will, of course, be doing my absolute best to fulfill my mission, which is to enrich lives. And I'm doing that today by reading a beautiful, kind, sweet, sincere, and heartfelt message from a trader inside of our community. Now, I will remove the trader's name, obviously, just to keep everything personal. But what we want to make sure is that I really get the heartfelt point of this message across to every one of you, because I think this is such a true and wonderful story of fear. Now, this gentleman or gentle lady, this person, is in our real life trading community, which is a great place to be, an amazing part of trading, and it's just such a helpful and thriving and amazing place. This person reaches out and says, question, when do you think I should call it quits? My consistency has improved, but I still don't have anything to show for it. I can't make enough money to pay for subscriptions, etc. One minute, I think I'm doing great. The next minute, I don't see it being realistic. Right now, as I said, I'm trading small, but yesterday I was up 42 bucks and today I'm down $41. Couldn't find a win all day. I've invested so much time and money, lost most of my pattern day trading rule buffer, and now I'm crawling out of the snail's pace, but costs of software, etc., are killing me. And there you have it. That is a real life example of expectations, stress, frustration, and honesty. It's messages like that I receive a lot and unfortunately it pains me because I see it a lot. Traders, people, individuals, we have expectations of greatness and grandeur and the reason that we have these expectations is because we've had these billboards and these advertisements and these gurus portrayed all over Facebook and YouTube and Instagram showing this how much money I made. This is what you can do. Buy my course. Sign up for this. Do this with me. And yes, trading the stock market is easy. Yes, you can make money doing it. In fact, you can make money every single day trading the stock market. Sometimes it's just for someone else. Remember this, my dear friends, success comes two weeks after you feel like giving up. You are always going to feel like giving up regardless of what industry you're in or how much money you make. Do you think for a moment that if you make $300,000 in one year of day trading, your entire life will be forever changed and you'll have no worries, no struggles, or no issues ever again? We can't think like that. That is because we are afraid of our own greatness is why it holds us back from it. If we are truly capable of all the things that we are going to achieve and we get it immediately, we are going to lose it because we haven't built up the muscles to obtain it or to keep it. It's like if you want to run 100 miles, but you've never run more than five miles in your entire life, you will break your bones, your legs will get sore, you will be chafed from head to toe, and you will be in pain for the rest of your life because you will absolutely and totally wreck your legs and body. If you are trading and you are successful at making money and you do these amazing things and you're simply not ready for it, it will leave you. It will go to someone else who has built up the discipline and the muscles and the time. Time is simply what stresses out most traders. It's not the money. All of us want to make money. That's a simple piece of the puzzle. Every one of us here wants to make money at something. It doesn't matter what it is. 95% of traders fail. Absolutely. Sure. 95% of everyone fails at anything they do in life. It doesn't matter if you're a chef. It doesn't matter if you're a Facebook marketer. It doesn't matter if you're a fire, police, teacher, business owner, restaurant owner, 95% of anyone fails at anything they do, especially if there's a high salary cap involved. It's not about the money, it's about the time. We have to spend time building our profession. We have to spend time building our mindset, building the mentality, proving to the universe, proving to God, proving to your family that you will not give up when it gets hard because I promise it will. I can assure you that the hurdles will absolutely be in front of your face every single day, regardless of how much money you make, things will come up. It could be family, it could be a death in the family, it could be your own health, it could be a heart attack, it could be a stroke, it could be a child, anything and everything can and will oppose you at some point because the universe wants to see how powerful you are. The universe wants to find out how strong you are, how hard you are going to push, how much commitment you have in your heart, how much love, how much joy, how much prosperity that you want to give into the world. This is not going to come easy. God, the universe, the energies, 
everything. We'll find out how powerful you are because the most powerful people in the world are the one that it's given to. If you wanna be powerful, you have to realize that you will receive it when you're ready. If you haven't received it yet, you're simply not ready for it because things are coming that are greater than you can possibly imagine for you and for your life. You're just starting, but you have to put in the time, my friends. The time is your taxes. The time is your time. The time is your energy and sweat and blood and tears and frustration. When you see someone who is proficient in the stock market or with any other aspect in life, a lot of us failed to look at the 11 years they spent, the tens and th the hundreds of thousands of dollars in fees and software and registration and commissions and affiliates and marketing and programs and webinars and classes and software and taxes and commissions over and over and over again. We see success and we go, I wanna be there, I wanna do that. And it's very natural, it's very normal, it's absolutely okay for you to feel that way. Everyone in life absolutely will get to a point where they feel like giving up and I promise it does not matter what industry you're in or how much money you have. We all know celebrities who have taken their life because they're just simply unhappy. Money, my friend, will not make you happy. Money is a byproduct of who you already are and it will only amplify what you feel now. If you feel frustration because you're not receiving, then focus on the gratitude of the things you have now and how you can amplify the things you have now. That's why, in my personal opinion, I wrote the book, Money Grows on Trees, because if you are trying to make it as a trader, it is much easier to have other streams of income, things that you have already mastered in your life to thus build upon, to grow, to expand who you already are with other revenue streams, other income streams, other cash flow coming in using the talents that you already have, using the talents that God has already provided for you, using the talents that the universe, that your parents, that your upbringing, that your teachers, that your sibling, using those skills you have already formed. And you can use those forms, you can use those skills to create extra streams of income, which will alleviate the pressure to make money every single day. That is something that a lot of traders will struggle with. They wanna make money every day. They wanna make money every week. Hell, you wanna make money every month. It will take longer than you will be expecting. It will be more expensive than you expect, always. Everything is harder, more expensive, and takes longer than you initially anticipate. And that is pure evidence and determination to figure out how hard you're willing to work for that thing on the other side. If you're watching this, please do not give up. Don't give up trading. Don't give up your pursuit of the dreams and the goals that you have because remember, it is a pursuit. You have to pursue certain aspects if you do not have them or you get to decide to have them now. You can have the pursuit of happiness or you can have happiness. You can pursue money or be eternally grateful for the money that you have now and the skills that you have in your life and use those skills to amplify who you already are. Use the knowledge and the passion and the drive that you have been given and give trading more time. Do not give up. It will click. For some people, it took eight to 10 years. I have a friend, Stephen King, it took him forever. Jason Smith took him almost a decade. I was the worst trader in the world for four years. I did everything under the sun wrong. Don't give up. If you've been doing this a year, congratulations. Two years, amazing. You have an associate's degree. Three or four years, awesome. You finally have a bachelor's degree. Spend seven hours a day, every day, Monday through Monday, and see how radically that will not change how good of a trader you can become. Will you make money every single day? Maybe, maybe not. Can you make money every single week? Maybe, maybe not. Are you able to become a better person through this process and in turn, as you become a better person, as you think differently, as you ask different questions, as you analyze differently, as you plan differently, as you strategize differently, as you document differently, talk differently, speak differently, read differently, think differently, believe differently, pray differently, as you do things differently, you will receive different results. Because if you want something you've never had, my friends, you have to do things that you've never done. So if you're not trading profitable, if you have not figured out how to breach past that consistent profitability every single month or every single quarter or every single year, figure out things in your life that you can do differently and start attacking those things with the ferocity and the fierceness that I know is inside of you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all.